A lot of people don't know this, but high-end luxury shopping in Europe is a lot more affordable than it is in the States. Why? Because a lot of the brands that we admire here in America are actually European brands. For example, Louis Vuitton is a French brand, right? And Gucci, I believe, comes from Italy, right? Prada, also an Italian brand. So, in these countries, you're able to find their brands for a lot less than you would in America. We also don't pay European taxes as Americans, so in this video, I'm going to include a little bit about my experience with shopping in Europe and how the tax refund system works. Welcome. I'm super excited for this video because it is something that, well for starters, I already recorded this video and the quality of the first video got messed up. So here is my take two on trying to make this video for you guys. So yeah, if you're new here, my name is Sue. I make travel related videos as often as I can. So yeah, if you're into that, definitely hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to explain the entire VAT refund process. Yeah, I'm an American citizen and so when Anyone who's American or not a European citizen goes to Europe and goes to like uh, Louis Vuitton or maybe other uh, European designers and go shopping, there are two things that happen. When you're in Europe and you're shopping, the price you see in the store is the price you pay. So it's not like in the States where like if a bag costs $100, then you get to the register and you have to pay $100 plus tax. In Europe, you only pay the ticket price. So pretty much the tax is already included in the price that you see on the ticket in Europe, which to me is pretty awesome because there's no surprises at the end. Like there's no going to the register and then having an extra expense added that you have to like calculate. In Europe, it's already calculated for you. It's on the ticket price. So that's that. I purchased this bag late last year for a friend. I had the unboxing in the first video that I tried to record. Unfortunately, the quality sucks. So yeah, um, back when I bought this bag in Europe, I actually wrote it down. I paid 1,150 euros for the bag. So again, when you purchase the bag in Europe, the ticket price already includes tax. So after tax, this bag in Europe at the end of last year was $1,350. Now when you went on the website, I believe the bag in the US cost almost $1,700 with the tax included. So that's quite a big difference from paying $1,350 to $1,700. That's like a big difference actually. Okay, so this is how the entire VAT refund process works. Because I am a US citizen, I am entitled to a tax refund on any goods that I purchase from Europe. And how you get that refund is while you're shopping in the store, so while I was in the Louis Vuitton store purchasing the same bag last year, I was given a form. Now you have to have your passport on you because this form is gonna have your information on it. It's gonna have your passport number, it's gonna have the price you purchased the bag for, and all the little details, how much the tax was, the tax refund that you're entitled to, and it's gonna have all that information on it. Now, how you get your tax refund is when you leave Europe. When you're flying back home, make sure that you have the product that you purchased with you in your carry-on because you're gonna wanna have it on you. Why? You're gonna have to show it to customs. You need a customs stamps as you're leaving the European Shenyang area and going back home. You're gonna have to go to a customs agent. They're gonna inspect the goods, the product. They're gonna have to make sure that it's the product that's on the receipt that you're showing them and your passport and everything is gonna match. They're going to approve it, they're going to stamp it, and then there's going to be an area where you're going to mail out the forms. Now, I've done this several times, so I'm pretty much a pro at it now, and there have been a few times where I messed up the entire process. For starters, rule number one, you have to get the form. Please don't forget your passport when you're at the store. The second rule is when you're mailing out the forms, be sure to include the original receipt for the product that you bought, okay? There was one time I forgot the original receipt. I didn't mail it. Uh, with the stamped form and they ended up emailing me weeks later saying hey um, This process is gonna take a lot longer. You need to mail us the 
receipt. So you don't want to go through that process. If you do everything the right way, the first time you should expect your refund within four to six weeks, which is how long it usually takes. So yeah, you're going to purchase your bag for a discounted price at the store. They're going to give you your forms, which tell you how much of a VAT refund you're entitled to. Then right before, as you're flying out of the country, you're going to want to arrive at the airport a little bit early. Go see the customs agent that's going to inspect the bag. They're going to stamp the forms. You're going to fill out your credit card information for where you want the refund or how you want the refund. And then you're going to mail the envelope out that has all the original receipts and the forms in them. And then you should wait four to six weeks for the refund. It sounds like a lot. It's really not. It's definitely worth it. That is how I saved $500 on a never full buying it in Europe as opposed to buying it in the States. Yeah, I have bought multiple bags this way in Europe. It's definitely cheaper. I will never buy a bag ever in the States again because I work hard for my money and who doesn't want to save money? Like, who wouldn't want to save money? This bag was another bag I purchased. This is the Prada Nylon bag. I don't remember the exact um, refund amount on this bag because when I purchased this bag, I also purchased like three other handbags at the same store for other friends. So I don't know exactly what the refund was for the bag, but I think that this bag cost $1,500 after tax at the time in the States and I paid $1,100. I also have the Almo BB Mini. It's a Damier print and this bag was purchased in Paris a few years ago. I actually got this bag for $900. If you go on the Louis Vuitton website now and you try to get this bag, it's like over $1,500 and I think that's like before tax. So like shopping in Europe is definitely the way to go. Like if you guys want to save some coins, go to Europe and uh, save your coins and, and definitely go through the entire shopping experience there. You will not regret it. You will be satisfied. So yeah, this concludes this video. I'm actually going to include some of the original uh, footage I had from the videos because I had the unboxing videos there and there's also a bag that I bought in Turkey. Now the VAT refund process in Turkey was the same process as it was in Germany and in France. But um, I will say that in Turkey, I didn't get as much of a refund as I did in the other European countries. Yeah, I'm gonna include that video now. The next thing I got was this bag. It is a Gucci mini shoulder bag. Um, I got this for my aunt. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's called Ophidia GG Mini Shoulder Bag. Um, this bag in the States before tax is $1,980. After tax, um, it's $175 in tax. After tax, you're looking at $2,155.73. The total price I paid was $1,959. So that is about a $200 savings without the tax refund. After the paperwork gets sent out for this bag, the savings for this bag will have been $300, which is still amazing. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. I make travel related videos all the time, whether it's a video like this. I have another video where I pay $50 to get my eyebrows microbladed and that's up on the channel now. So yeah, see you guys next time.